the traffic. Business. Let's get acquainted. I'll begin with myself. Uh, Ross Griffin. You can call me Ross. Uh, I've been London based for many years now doing small independent films. Sorry to interrupt. Would we be familiar with any of them? Hard to say. Up twice for Golden Globe nominations for Best Foreign Film and winner of the Vienna Film Festival last year for Berlin Holiday. Well, someone's been doing their homework. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Full disclosure here. This is the first play that I've written and directed since some, some very youthful attempts at theater genesis a long, long time ago. Back to introductions. Amanda, we'll begin with you. Well, I'm Amanda Phillips. I uh, did high school theater over with the Staple Players. Um, I love to sing and dance, and I'm really excited to take on this challenge of playing Annie. Good. Uh, Greg Wise. Uh, I'll be playing the part of Chad. Uh, recent credits include uh, Brick, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, Hartford Stage. Uh, before that, a production at Connecticut Rep of True West. Ross, I believe the, uh, the late Sam Shepard also had some experience at Theater Genesis. Before your time, of course. Good. Ray, Hamill, Luke. Um, I actually majored in uh, journalism at UConn, but did a little bit of theater there as well, and um, I'm just intrigued by the project and looking forward to the experience. Wonderful. And now for our very lovely but somewhat older Annie. Mary Evans. I've done a variety of different roles, mostly off-Broadway, many years ago. I retired to raise my family, and um, I really miss the theater quite a lot, actually. And I'm so excited to work all, with all of you. Mary was in a view from the bridge on Broadway when she was just 18. She had prominent roles in uh, many off-Broadway productions, as well as several stunning turns doing Shakespeare at the Delacorte, several of which I had the rare pleasure to, to witness. She's won the Clarence Derwin Award, as well as the Outer Circle Critics Award. Stop, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> May I say it's a privilege to have you join us. Welcome back. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. So, we'll take up character and motivation questions later. Old Love is based on true events and not a pretty story. We'll have three weeks of rehearsals followed by a two-week run. To keep things even more chaotic, I'll only be giving you portions of the script as we go. So if everyone's still on board and willing to play it a little loose and wild, <laughs> let's begin. I got a job. I got a paying job. Not that waitress on roller skates uptown at the saloon you're waiting to hear about. Oh no, baby. It's a part on a soap. As the world turns, and not just a fucking day player. I have a three-month contract. Geez, I really thought I blew the audition. Instead, I'm cast as the very young love interest of the biggest star of the show. I read with him and, I don't know, maybe he put in a good word for me? Mm. Oh, and listen, I want you to help me write a ton of fan letters to myself as soon as the first show airs. <laughs> the big fan base will, you know, stop me from getting killed off after the three months. You don't belong in a little box. You belong up on screen. You don't have to tell me where I belong. Look, they're paying me to act. You can barely support yourself. At least my film attempts are a way to find some truth. You know who watches these shows? Bored housewives. And it's gonna be a cheap grind that, that could kill your talent. Not so, Luke. A lot of famous actors started out doing soaps. Julianne Moore, Demi Moore, Brad Pitt, Kevin Klein. I could go on. See, what the fuck do you know? No need for such language. But she's right, a lot of fine actors started out in soaps. Uh, of course, not everyone makes it. You have to have that intangible something 
or Luke, as, as you would put it, that certain je ne sais quoi. Mm, I love the way that French sounds. It makes me feel romantic. You'll network, meet beautiful people, sometimes location shoots, money, adoring fans. You'll just learn a lot of slipshod techniques and become a hack. Who's a hack? Luke, don't you worry. I can take care of myself, thank you. Always have.